Good morning. Welcome uh, to balmy Minnesota where it was minus 16 this morning. My name is Ed Loftus. I'm a gastroenterologist at Mayo Clinic and I specialize in the care of patients with ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. And I wanted to talk to you today about a study that was recently published in the American Journal of Gastroenterology. And this was a study looking at medications after surgery preventing recurrence of Crohn's disease. We know that many patients who have Crohn's disease uh, can find surgery to be beneficial in terms of managing quality of life if they have a stricture or obstructive symptoms or an internal fistula. The problem is, is that many of those patients will recur. And so we've seen a few studies come out looking at the utility of various medications in reducing the risk of recurrence. So this study was uh, performed in Italy, and it involved about 50 patients, and they were randomized to three groups. All the patients had undergone an ileocolonic resection for their Crohn's disease. So the three groups of treatment were uh, adalimumab, which was given at the usual loading dose of 160 milligrams, followed by 80 milligrams two weeks later, followed by 40 milligrams every two weeks. The second group received azathioprine at a dose of approximately 2 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. And then the third group received mesalamine at a dosage of 3 grams daily. And then these patients were studied or followed over a period of two years. And at the end of the two-year study, they underwent a colonoscopy to see if there was any evidence of recurrence. And there's a recurrence grading system called the Rutgert score that goes from 0 to 4. And anyone who had a score of 2, 3, and, or 4 were considered to have uh, a, a, an endoscopic recurrence. And so to give you an idea, a score of 2 would mean that the endoscopist saw at least 5 ulcers in the ileum. Anything less than that would be considered a, a 1 or a 0. At the end of the study, 2 years, all the patients were scoped. Only 6% of the adalimumab-treated patients had an endoscopic recurrence whereas that was 64% in the azathioprine-treated patients and 83% in the mesalamine-treated patients. For clinical recurrence, the numbers were roughly the same. The, the clinical recurrence rate, which is again based on symptoms, was uh, about 12% in the adalimumab-treated patients, and it was considerably higher in the patients receiving azathioprine or mesalamine. And so these results are very, very similar to that small study that was done by Miguel Ruggiero at the University of Pittsburgh looking at infliximab for postoperative uh, recurrence of Crohn's disease. And so it's looking like, based on these two relatively small studies, that anti-TNF therapy may be far and away our single best medication to prevent recurrence of uh, Crohn's disease in the postoperative setting. Um, obviously, there are larger trials going on, and I think we'll have more data within a year, uh, but these uh, results are very encouraging for the utility of anti-TNF therapy in this setting. Thanks.